I'm Simon Lucas. Welcome to my short video about statistical forward planning. So the aim here is to have general and rapidly adaptive AI and statistical forward planning is an excellent way to achieve this. Uh, so what's the catch? Well, we need to be able to copy the system state and to be able to rapidly advance it. Let's run it forward. And the rule of thumb here for video games is that we should be able to do this probably in excess of a thousand simulation ticks per decision that has to be made. For the experiments that I'm going to show later, uh, we use 2000. So the algorithms, the main ones are probably Monte Carlo search. This was made famous for Scrabble around about 20 years ago. And Monte Carlo tree search became famous for Go around 10 years ago, 12 years ago and also Rolling Horizon Evolution, which we've been playing a lot with in our group. And we've been doing this, I guess, for around five years now. Okay, so the idea is really simple. You start with sequences of random numbers. You interpret each sequence as a set of actions. You breed from sequences that lead to the best outcomes. And for the experimental settings below, the algorithm has a few settings we've got to set. Uh, so you can choose whether or not to use a shift buffer. I'll explain more of this in a minute. And the answer is yes, uh, we normally do use a shift buffer. Uh, mutation strength is going to be set to big, rollout per move 20, and rollout uh, length of 100. So here's what you need to do to add this AI to your own game. Methods such as nActions, getScore, is terminal. They're pretty obvious. The main ones to focus on are copy. You've got to make sure you copy the entire game state. And next. So next has got to be done reasonably efficiently and also if a player makes an illegal action it should just be simply ignored. Don't want to crash the game. So to give you an idea, this is um, the AI playing Planet Wars. Uh, here you choose uh, ships to send from one planet that you own to invade a, an enemy planet or to boast of one of your own. Uh, so the game state is shown up here. And what we do is to take copies of this and then run these random sequences through a copy of the game state and evaluate the score it leads to at the end. Uh, so what we do, for example, with these settings, we copy the state 20 times, we copy and mutate sequences 20 times, uh, we run each sequence, so there's 20 sequences, run it for 100 steps uh, for each one, so that makes 2,000 ticks in total. And then we play it through the game engine shift and repeat. So the shift and repeat bit is we take the first element of the sequence, in this case it's two, uh, use that as a return decision, in fact it would have been from this one with the highest score 472, and then we shift the sequence along by one, add a random step into the end, and then we use that to seed the population for the next game tick. Okay, so we're going to see a couple of demos. This is uh, Rolling Horizon Evolution in Asteroids. So here the action space is the set of joystick actions, so choosing which way to move the ship and also to fire it. And also in Planet Wars, so each number pair specifies a source and target planets. Here we see Rolling Horizon Evolution playing asteroids, but this time it's got a fairly short horizon, it's just planning 20 steps ahead. This time, again, the pink lines show the projections of where the ship is likely to be given the different uh, rollouts on the left. So these are the projected or the expected scores based on different action sequences. And you can see that this time the ship plays much better. So the Rolling Horizon player is the player in yellow. And this is playing a heuristic agent. That's like a hand-programmed agent playing in blue. Uh, the blue agent's not, not super strong, but the clever thing about the Rolling Horizon agent, the one in yellow, is that it's got no idea that it's playing this game at all. It could be playing asteroids, it could be playing anything that has this fast forward model. So finally, SFP is a really great general AI tool. You get instant adaptation. It's useful for video game AI as well as video game design. Just need a fast and easily copied forward model. Check out our paper below for more details of how to tune it, though very often it just works well out of the box. And for further references, see these papers here and also our Google Scholar profiles.